You might be wondering why did I separate this sickle flow edge from that triple pack that I did a couple of days or a week ago. Well, the thing is, we have here something that is definitely different, right? And a single cable is running out, so you don't have to worry about cable connections in those terms. But the thing is, you get in that sickle flow edge three pack of 120 fans. In this pack, you get Sickle Flow Edge 360 addressable RGB white edition. So it comes already pre-connected everything all together. It looks great on this side, but it also looks good on the other side as well. And one cable is running out from the back. Now, here, as you can see, is the connection and we have eight pin connectors. So this is a proprietary cable specifically for this one. And it goes into the, well, it uh, splits into the same segment as that Sickle Flow Edge three times 120. So we're having addressable RGB header and we're having PWM header. So that's three pin, five volts addressable RGB and four pin PWM. So nothing is different when we're talking about connection, but we're having something completely different when we're talking about the design. So when you take into consideration, it has anti-vibration pads on four screws. And yeah, I'm saying four screws because it is connected only with four screws to your chassis. And that's really good because it tightens it up properly. And this rubber pads here that are in the middle, here two on the bottom and two on the top, are actually the ones that are preventing the vibration because of the four additional, just four screws and not going with 12. So this is really good. Now, when we take into consideration the design, it's really clean. There's nothing too much going on except Cooler Master logo on both sides, nicely placed in the center, as well as we have centered Cooler Master logo right here. And the cable is fully white and it's nicely braided so you don't have to worry about the design and visual aspect of everything. But it's located on both sides and I tested both sides work the same way. So you can either connect it on this side, you can connect it on this side. It really doesn't matter. If you, for instance, accidentally place these fans on a radiator or in a chassis somewhere and you forgot to connect the cable prior to this. Well, you can just simply choose if you want to go from the upper part of the chassis and connect it somewhere at the top or you want to go at the bottom. But I would definitely suggest connecting it closer to the USB 2.0 and why? Well, it's quite simple and the same thing as Sickle Flow Edge 3x120 because you get this right here, this small A1 mini LED controller. Now, this is what I stated back then and I'm stating it now and I noticed on other social media, you guys really like this controller because it's really simple. You connect addressable RGB header to that controller and that controller connects to USB 2.0. You control the fans well, at least the lightning because the PWM is connected directly to your motherboard. So you connect, you control the speeds and the RPMs directly through BIOS, or if you have some other software that can read BIOS metrics and all the other stuff adjustments. But regardless of that, you control the RGB lights through Master Plus software. And it's literally the same thing as the Sickle Flow Edge 3120. Because what you get when you enter the Master Plus software, you just have to apply the settings when we're talking about these fans. So we have 32 LEDs maximum per controller. And this, I didn't state that in the last video, we have 60, up to 60 LEDs. So you can stack up more of addressable RGB stuff towards this pin if it's possible, or simply just daisy chain them at the controller, which is, I think should be possible, right? Now, the thing is, if you don't have addressable RGB port, you can just use USB 2.0 because motherboards usually have from one to two USB 2.0 on the motherboard, which give you an option to actually get addressable RGB Gen 2 in your PC. It doesn't have to be spectrum. It doesn't have to be rainbow. You can go with static. You can adjust it properly to your setup, to your PC, whatever you want to go. So it's up to you to choose. Now, next in line, when you configure everything and it's, believe me, it's just two clicks, you have to select the fans and click apply, you're done. You can go to RGB settings and adjust 11 custom presets that are already done. You can go with special custom one. You can adjust the speeds per individual, depending on the present, of course, but you can adjust the speeds with five different speeds. And in some scenarios, in some presets, you can even change the colors to your liking. So I don't know, this is just full spectrum. You can go with any other uh, color shim options, including static, uh, fill, uh, I don't know, mix up, uh, spectrum, rainbow, 
you know, it goes uh, really nice. But I'm really digging this option because only one cable is running out. You have the option to switch it around. And you know what's the best part? The addressable, and I was just looking at it, the addressable RGB part has a splitter already. So you connect the 5 volt strip pin addressable RGB header to the, to the uh, A1 mini LED controller and you have one male connector running at the back. So basically what you can do is you can connect either some LEDs, you can connect more fans or whatever it comes to your mind with 5 volts addressable RGB headers. Be certain that you don't surpass 60 LED count because the controller can take as much. And anything above that basically I think needs additional power which this doesn't support. But I think honestly if you go with something that has less LEDs and I'm counting these ones as well because the design is so cool they added these I would say bridges let's call them bridges be between the fans and they light up as well. These are extra LEDs that you get. In those terms, if you want this and you need this specifically at 360, then it's okay. But what, what I can say is this is really handy. If you're going with a smaller chassis, you can always go specifically with, I don't know, this 360 that fits and then you fill up uh, other fans on the other parts and you're good to go. In general, I think this is quite solid because for you guys that are rocking old mother older motherboards with uh, RGB 12 volts 4 pin and you can't get the addressable RGB madness colors and everything else you can just do it with Master Plus software connecting this thing with A1 mini LED controller directly to your USB 2.0 if you don't want these you can go with 3 pack if you have a much smaller case which then makes more sense to go two on, two on top one at the rear or three on front or whatever configuration is completely up to you guys uh, some specs when we're talking about uh, these fans we're talking about the dimensions 361 122 26.5 and i think this is the most important uh, information that you need to know speed is from 690 to 2500 with uh, 10 plus minus 10 percent now we have airflow at maximum 190 cfm and i think this is all together I think this is altogether 190 CFM because if the individual fan had 190 CFM, this would be most likely the best airflow fans on the market. Now we have air pressure maximum 3.54 uh, millimeters H2O, mean time before failure about 160,000 hours, noise level 38.5 uh, decibels. Honestly, I don't think it's uh, it is maybe at uh, the highest RPMs at 2500 and when you take into consideration all three at the same time I don't think you'll be reaching this high decibel noise without a doubt if you just uh, set it up properly we have loop dynamic bearing and I explained that last time this is why we have such a big mean time before failure 4 pin PWM connection and as I stated addressable RGB header with that uh, A1 mini LED controller 460 grams of total weight for this ones and cool thing that's a bit of a surprise five-year warranty for the fans <laughs> outstanding i do have to admit so all in all this is another product that i wanted to show you guys separately from everything else which gives you a more idea about the products in general and uh, just something that you might find useful for your future build or whatever it's just an idea and it looks quite clean and simple elegant no, nah, minimalistic. Let's put it minimalistic. Not going to go too much into praise because it, you can see everything, right? I just left it on Spectrum just uh, for you guys to see different variation of colors and what you could expect. And that's all there is uh, for the Cooler Master Sickle Flow Edge uh, 360 addressable RGB uh, white edition. Uh, I didn't find it in black. So I guess so far it's only in white. And uh, the link, if I find it and unless i can't find the proper link where to buy it i'll just redirect you directly to cooler master website so you can check more details there but that will be all for today and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button click the notification bell and i'll see you quite shortly in a new one thanks bye bye